Okay, uh, as we continue now with our humorous uh, speech contest, we'd like to invite our fourth participant, and that is Tony Delman. Welcome. Thank you. Your speech contest is Confessions of a Corn de Tesla. Would our uh, contestant please verify line of vision for the time of life? Last night, I was sitting in a drinking establishment when all of a sudden a corn stock walked into the bar. The bartender said, hey, do you want to hear a joke? Corn stock said, I'm all ears. <laughs> Perhaps one of my favorite memories from my teenage job of detasseling corn was the jokes that we told during morning break. Most of them just as corny as the one I just told. <laughs> Madam Contest Master, fellow Toastmasters, honored guests, and anybody who has had a teenage job. We all remember our first teenage job. Some of us mowed lawns, some of us delivered newspapers, others of us flipped burgers at our local fast food restaurant. But the most popular teenage job in my agricultural hometown of Pocato, Minnesota was detasseling seed corn. Every year, my family farm would hire over a hundred local teenagers to walk up and down cornfields, pulling off the tassel, the pollen-producing flower at the top of every corn stalk. Now, this, it's really difficult to explain corn detasseling without this becoming a decidedly unhumorous lecture <laughs> on the agronomy of corn and hybrid vigor. But how do I explain corn reproduction while avoiding potentially objectionable language, anecdotes, and material? Well, when two corn stalks really love each other, <laughs> and, never mind, I'll explain it to you when you're old. Anthony Morrison, in a 2011 AOL Jobs article, said there were three reasons why teenagers should get a job. Number one, you want to gain experience. Number two, you want to learn a new skill. And number three, you want to build a network. I completely agree with Mr. Morrison, and today I'm going to explain to you how my first job of corn detasseling had a great impact on my life. The first reason that Mr. Morrison said that teenagers should get a, a summer job is because they will gain experience. One of the things that I disliked most about detasseling was going into the cornfields in the early morning. Every morning, I would put on my old tennis shoes, still caked with mud from the night before, and trudge out to the old retired school bus that brought us out to the cornfields. Now, because cool Minnesota summer nights are followed by hot Minnesota summer days, when we would get out to the cornfield, it would be glistening in the east rising sun with a layer of morning dew. Now, you wouldn't think that a little bit of condensation would be that big of a problem, but that only comes from people who haven't trudged through seven-foot corn first thing in the morning. Some of my friends would actually wear rain gear for the first couple hours of the day, but I usually decided to go without, mostly because bright yellow, 50% plastic, 50% nylon isn't very <laughs> flattering for my figure. But also, because this rainproof weather gear would get so hot, I would end up sweating more than just if I went into the corn on protected. My uncle Craig used to tell us corn to tasslers that you only get so wet and the rest just drips off. While trudging to the metro at 6.30 in the morning in black wingtips isn't exactly the same experience, I have learned that sometimes it is valuable just to go to work in the morning, trudge through the wet corn weeds, and get your job done. But the second le reason that Mr. Morrison gave us that teenagers should get a summer job is because you can learn a new skill. Along with the normal hazards of walking fields, like itchy corn leaves or ankle-deep mud, every once in a while, us detasters would run across something called Ustalago Midas, or more commonly known in the agricultural community as corn smut. Corn smut is a fungus which grows directly on the ear of corn. It is white with black stripes and has almost a smooth appearance, but it gets gritty when you squish it in between your fingers. So as the skill that I gained identifying and eradicating this fungus from the American corn crop? Not exactly. The skill I learned was learning how to throw corn smut at your fellow detasseler's heads. 
Now, even though my improved skill that I have seen in my overhand throwing motion hasn't given me a lot of benefits sitting in front of a federal government-owned computer, I do think that corn smut has taught me ingenuity. During our project management issues that we see here at work, we are encouraged to use whatever resources we have available to us. And sometimes the only resources you have available to you is a big pile of gooey fungus. The third and final reason that Mr. Morrison gave us of why teenagers should get a summer job is to build a network. Every morning, in order to give our detasselers a sugar rush, each crew was provided with a five gallon jug of red Kool-Aid. This tropical punch elixir was mixed at two to three times the recipe strength. Not only guaranteeing that your tongue is going to be red for a week and a half, but also increasing your chances of going home with diabetes by over 50%. Now, so what is the most obvious course of action to do with this morning beverage? You're right, Kool-Aid drinking contest. One morning, a young man named Kyle challenged me to a Kool-Aid drinking contest. As the contest was going along, and I had just finished glass number nine, I decided I was going to slow down a little bit and let Kyle catch up. Kyle had just finished glass number seven when the complexion of his face turned from the red number five of the Kool-Aid to green number puke. And he stumbled down the bus stairs and, and, and deposited the contents of his digestive system underneath the front right tire of the detasseling bus, thus declaring Tony the Kool-Aid drinking champion of the day. Now I know what you're thinking. What does literally drinking a teenager under the wheel of a bus have to do with networking? <laughs> well, I'm telling you that sometimes the best way to get ahead is a little bit of competition. Whether it's your office chili cook-off, whether it is Fred's Fantasy Football League, sometimes the best way to make friends and get ahead is a little bit of competitive. Today, we have looked at the three reasons that Mr. Morrison has said that teenagers should get a summer job. Number one, you want to gain experience. Number two, you want to learn a new skill. And number three, you want to build a network. And we can see that all of us have learned valuable lessons from our first summer job, some of them even more important than corn leaves, corn smut, and Kool-Aid. As I was finishing up in my establishment, a corn, the corn stock was leaving. And the, and the bartender said, what are you talking about? You're the greatest corn stock ever. And the corn stock just said, aw shucks. Madam <laughs> <Bad of> contest. <laughs>